guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. Sherry here. Welcome to the mid-month update. Now, the update is usually um, only available to patrons, um, but since I didn't do the extended version of the September um, energy forecast, um, I decided I'm going to do an extended for this mid-month update. Uh, so the extended will be available for purchase if you want to click on the link below. Um, so what I have here is actually the cards that were pulled for uh, the September uh, forecast. So I'm just going to go quickly through it just to uh, update you. So it was about two weeks ago that we did this. Um, so starting with the masculine side, we have this activation with the magician. Okay, so that's the, um, the self-conscious, aware um, mind. Okay, so this is activation of attention in order to manifest so he wants to manifest something in his life and it's requiring him to be conscious and aware and and focused so that's the energy for september okay so when we move into uh, the present position we have the six of wands coupled with the uh, grand awakening card or judgment so the Six of Wands is encouragement, excitement. Um, you, f you feel that you're, um, you know, the rock star, right? People are cheering you on. Uh, now his present self was um, the judgment card. So this is awakening to the conditioning in your life. Um, awakening to your, your behaviors, your responses. Um, and also all the chains that are binding you to things in the material world. So all of these aspects of himself are kind of being dismembered in a way uh, so that he can be reborn anew. So, you know, there's a sense that he is awakening <clears throat> to the conscious mind, which is awesome. Okay, so this is because in the past position we have the four of wands coupled with the eight of wands so this is the twin flame connection um, it's commitment it's feeling like you've arrived so these emotions um, that the masculine is feeling um, is because of a twin flame connection and it's uplifting him right it's um, making him feel beautiful vibes and these beautiful vibes are being sent out into the universe and you know, this, the Eight of Wands could also mean that there was communication with his twin flame. Um, now, the energy, however, that's being brought into the future is the Five of Swords. So this is triggers um, negative energy, right? So that's what he's awakening to in the present moment. He's also awakening to uh, the Four of Pentacles, which is somebody being closed off, right? So that was the message from the present or from the, the past to the present was not to be closed off, right? See how triggers have caused you to behave in certain ways um, realize that there are certain people in your life that are you know need to be released they're toxic right so he's going from this awakening into an activation phase now in the future we have the um, knight of pentacles which is a very slow movement but it is um, you know no, the most dependable he will arrive at his destination coupled with the Nine of Wands. Um, so even though he's exhausted, he's tired, he feels like he's in the eye of the storm, he's taking um, every day uh, as it comes, one step at a time. And he's about to arrive his, at his destination, especially when you see the Knight coupled with the Nine of Wands. There is, uh, you know, this completion of a cycle. <clears throat> So what he's bringing with him as the Knight of Pentacles and as this spiritually strong, um, you know, masculine um, is he's bringing the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a new beginning in the 3D reality. It's a seed of intention. So the masculine, ha as the magician, has this seed of intention in his hand. 
He's strong. He's determined. He can see the finish line. Um, and what the future wants the present to know is the Queen of Cups. So this could either be a water sign, but this is really the feminine who is loving, who is gentle, who loves you unconditionally. So it feels to me like there is, um, you know, the completion of a very long journey um, that has to do with awakening and spirituality and the connection with uh, the, her, his twin flame. Um, and, you know, it's almost like Spirit is saying, you know, keep that love in your heart. You know, remember the connection that you guys shared. The journey is almost complete. There's a new beginning in sight and, you know, it's going to be beautiful, right? You're, you're returning to that twin flame love. So on the feminine side, we have um, a struggle taking place as well. Both aspects got the nine of wands, which is being in the eye of the storm, um, and the four of pentacles, which is being closed off. So as an overall energy, the feminine had the six of swords. So this is somebody who is walking away from a negative situation, right? Somebody who is triggering you, somebody who is just toxic, right? So this is a transition card, so it's a movement away from negative. Below that was the high priest. Uh, so this is somebody who's a spiritual leader, um, who, um, you know, ha is divine guidance, um, but it could also represent your vibe tribe, your friends uh, that you connect with on a spiritual level. So what I'm feeling here is that, you know, you, you, you have a deep connection with this twin flame journey because of your spirituality. And it is that which is guiding you out of a darkened state. Now you can really see the darkened state here. When you look in the past, we have the moon coupled with the four of cups. So the moon is fears, um, things that are hidden, um, you know, so you're, you're seeking answers. You're looking for answers that because you feel disconnected and abandoned, you know, um, you feel that things aren't moving, right? So you're coming out of that darkened state. Um, and it's because of illumination, right? Um, the high priest has his crown chakra activated, which is the direct connection to the super conscious. And so this is how he downloads information and shares to all. So, however, the third eye chakra, which is the energy that's being brought into the present, is, um, you know, your connection with the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind would be the moon, right? Uh, it's, it's using your intuition, having foresight, listening to your inner voice, right? So that energy was activated to draw you out of a negative space to seek answers. Um, and that has put you in this high priest um, energy, right? But you're still in that transition. You're still releasing some, some negative aspects in your life. So in the present position, we had the three of pentacles coupled with the nine of wands. So again, the eye of the storm, um, you feel like giving up, you're, you're exhausted, you're tired, but you can see the finish line. Okay. And plus the three of pentacles represents that you have a solid, firm foundation. You feel grounded. Um, you feel, you know, that there's more work to do, but you're committed to your goal. Okay. So exhaustion from whatever took place in the past. So the energy you're being, bringing into the future is a 10 of pentacles. So we have a completion of a cycle, feeling grounded, feeling successful. The Ten of Pentacles is a long-term goal manifested. Um, retirement, you don't have to worry about money anymore. So it's worth it, right? Um, you feel successful. However, in the future, we have the Nine of Swords with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So it seems to me that you will be tested once again. And I'm just noticing here that all of the figures in these cards, the nine, the six, and the four, they're all facing the masculine. 
So these negative thoughts <clears throat> that are stirring around in your mind have to do with the masculine. Um, and I think what the message is here from the future to the present is the four pentacles and which kind of means you need to maybe um, close off your self, your mind, um, take a little break and recuperate. Um, you know, just it, sometimes it's good just to find a quiet spot, which you are trying to do there. Um, but also at the same time, it could mean, you know, with the two of pentacles, you feel like the world is being turned upside down, right? Um, it's a very slippery slope and you're sliding down the hill. You feel like you're losing your pace coupled with the nine of swords. It's like nightmares, night terrors, so much guilt and worry about the future. And you may have a tendency to close yourself off, hold on, hoard. Um, you know, you've, you completed this major cycle, but there's this chance that you will become greedy or closed off. So, uh, what the past wants the present to know is the throat chakra. So, you know, uh, this is about speaking. This is about, um, you know, communicating, um, say what you have to say, but do it from a truthful place. Um, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is pull, let's see here. No, I'm not going to pull um, the messages from the universe just yet. Um, I think what I'd like to do is something new here. I have another deck. So this is my original cards. These are the ones I painted. Um, and then I have two additional decks that were printed. So with this other deck, I think I'm going to do um, an elemental reading. So I'm going to pull three cards per position. So it's almost like a reverse um, extended reading. Usually I, I pull three clarifiers for the extended portion, but I think what I'm going to do is pull the three clarifiers, um, read them as a unit very quickly, um, and then for the extended part, I'm going to pull um, an Osho Zen card for each position and most likely read, but also go through um, the three confirmation cards as the past, present, and future. So I'm going to read them as a cluster for now. And then um, for the extended, we'll go a little bit further into detail. All right, so I think I'll pull the cards first and then we'll go through each position. So starting with the masculine, this is um, his emotional, physical, okay, um, mental and spiritual. This will be his soul. All right. Eh, stay there. Okay, for the feminine. to make sure that these are on camera. All right, and from the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's see here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is a mid-month energy update. Um, we will be in the hangman energy. So perspective shift. This is you know, surrendering, absolute surrender. Um, but it also points to the fact that there is a lot of chaos happening in the environment. And the thing to do is to just let go of control. Um, and when you are able to let go of control, um, you can see how you exist as consciousness at the center of all the chaos. And then you're able to 
you know, switch perspectives. Um, you control your reality, so you can um, make negative situation positive, right? So, but it it requires absolute surrender in order to do this. So this also might um, this also talks about freeing yourself, right? So self sacrifice. So you might have to sacrifice something in order to completely free yourself um, from a situation. So I'll put this card up here. Okay, starting with the masculine, we have, whoa. Um, so this is in the emotional space, and we actually have two water cards here, the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. In the middle is the Two of Swords. Um, so emotionally, the masculine um, has really opened up. He, he has felt a lot of deep emotions. Um, for the feminine, he he's been longing for her, and you can actually really see that in you know his side over there, with the four of cups and the queen of cups. So, but emotionally, he's he feels um, like he's at a standstill, um, and that he will make a decision to walk away from something that's kind of holding him back. And you can see that with the five of swords, right? A negative energy. Okay. So yeah, sorry. Okay. So for his mental space, we have the four of cups, the 10 of fire and the throat chakra. So the Four of Cups past position is a synchronicity with the Feminine's Four of Cups. So mentally, um, he was disconnected. Um, he withdrew. Um, but now he's getting to a point where he can't stop thinking about things. He feels caught um, in, in uh, responsibilities. He feels caught in a machine. Um, and he can't go on, so the ten is completing something. Uh, and in the he, in the future, we have this opening of communication. Okay, so there he it seems like he's the one who will communicate, and well, the feminine needs to open up to that communication as well. All right, so physically we have. The Queen of Pentacles, King of Air, um, and the Star card. So the Queen of Earth, or Queen of Pentacles, is is somebody who's very stable, who creates this beautiful home. It could be a mother figure. Um, so physically, either he feels this energy of success um, and wanting to care, you know, have this beautiful home, or this is a feminine energy. And yes, I'm picking that up with the Four of Wands over the. Over there, the Four of Wands is spiritual union in the three D reality. It's marriage, okay. Um, you know, it's getting engaged, buying a home. So physically, there's this this sense of um, desiring or having a connection with the feminine in the three D. He feels like she is home. Um, and we have the King of Swords, so this could represent either an Earth sign or an Air sign. Um, but this could be the masculine making a decision or or cutting himself off from the feminine in the 3D or someone um, else in the 3D. Um, or, you know, um, speaking his truth about something in the 3D reality. Um, um, being unemotional in the 3D, and that would make sense with the, the where's that, four of cups there. Um, there is a disconnect, and there, and from that disconnect, there's a sense of him, you know, it really bothering him, you know, and needing to say something. And the King of Swords is the master of communication. In the future, we have the whole card, which is, this healing breeze coming in, flowing in. It's also um, your wishes coming true. You know, it's uh, it comes after something like the tower, something very destructive. So, again, it's it. There's the sense of um, 
a transition that the masculine is, is going through. And it's because of a deep love or bond that he felt for somebody in the past. He is making a decision finally to walk away from something. Um, you know, we're getting that with the feminine as well. And I just noticed that the masculine is walking in this direction. Okay, so for uh, spiritual, we have, wow, the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, and the Queen of Fire. So a lot of passion, a lot of sexual uh, magnetic attraction, and a great deal of love. The Nine of Cups in the past, again, pointing to the Four of Wands over there, that Twin Flame connection. Um, it's, you know, feeling emotional bliss, feeling um, like you have everything and everyone surrounding you, you're happy, right? Uh, the present position is the lovers in spirituality. So this is the twin flame connection, just feeling this amazing, you know, desire, passion, and magnetic attraction for the queen of fire, the queen of no fucks given. She shines her light. She's magnetic, right? She draws the masculine to her. So because it's in the spiritual space, he's um, drawn to her through the love of the twin flame connection, through the fire. Okay, and so the soul is the hermit, the king of fire, wow, and the third eye chakra. So the hermit or philosopher past position is somebody who's disconnected, okay, but they disconnect to go on a spiritual journey. Now, this disconnection may have been too long um, because there's this feeling of stagnation and, you know, just kind of pulling yourself along with the Ten of Wands. Like, it's, you, you're, you know, collapsing in exhaustion. However, from that fire rose the Phoenix with the King of Fire. All right, so this is the energy that his soul is is presently in and he's wanting to you know, um, join with the feminine in that eternal flame. Okay. And so in the future we have the third eye chakra. Uh, so this is using your intuition to guide you. Um, you know, you've been on this spiritual journey for a very long time and it seems to me like, um, that journey has come to an end and from it, you know, you're, you're following your intuition. You are being led by your inner voice. Your soul is guiding you. Um, and the King of Fire is also somebody who is very dynamic, who um, also shines his light for all to see. So there's this beautiful alignment happening. Okay, so on the feminine side, in the emotional space, we have Three of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Page of Fire. So Three Cups past position is connecting with your friends, celebrating love, um, just being playful. Uh, it could also represent um, a marriage or engagement, some kind of party. Uh, the present position is the Page of Swords. So this is somebody who um, wants a new beginning, wants has some new ideas that are kind of stirring around in his mind. Um, the page of uh, wands in the future, this is great news, uh, great communication. The page of swords is a double communicator, right? He, um, he has very important communication that he needs to, to talk about. Um, it's his truth. And so the two pages represents a brand new start. It's a very youthful energy. So I see a lot of playfulness, even though um, the feminine is making absolute decisions to start something new. She's very excited about it. And, um, you know, it looks to me like there's a lot of communication taking place. So emotionally, the feminine may be cut off in the past. She may have been playful. Um, there's a sense of her being kind of cut off from her emotions. Um, but in the future, you know, she gets exciting news and is reactivated again. <laughs> um, but this is a spiritual beginning, a new beginning that is more in line with who you are. Okay, so we, we see that synchronicity with the king and queen of fire in the future as well. 
Um, so uh, mentally we have Five of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Universe. So Five of Wands is overcoming challenges and obstacles, someone standing in your way, someone disagreeing with you. Um, the, the Page of Cups is wanting to start a new relationship, a loving connection, wanting to communicate your love. And uh, the Universe card is a major completion of a cycle. It's Nirvana. You arrive at this state of, um, you know, pure oneness with all. Right, so this is the completion of this of a, a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. All right, so once again, we have another page. That's three pages on the feminine side. So she's really in this free, innocent kind of um, um, almost delirious state, um, very childlike, and she's embarking on a journey, and this journey has to do with her you know her uh, being the fool on a fool's journey it's a major ending and from that ending is a new beginning once again so you know the cycles continue and continue again but there is definitely something new coming um and again it has to do with communication most likely messages but she didn't feel like she was possibly good enough right we we with these two cards, we see somebody who um, feels challenged, feels that, you know, they're not good enough, they don't measure up, um, so there's a longing, there's a desire here, um, you know, almost like a waiting. Pages aren't moving, they, they are very stationary. Um, oops, okay, well, I looked at the soul, I didn't mean to do that, but being guided to, so the Sacra Chakra... Uh, the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So uh, the Sacra Chakra is an emotional blockage. Um, yeah, we can kind of feel that there. We can also kind of feel it with the Page of Swords, right? There's this disconnect emotionally. So that Four of Cups there could also be the feminine disconnecting. And also the Six of Swords, it's like I've had enough of this and I'm, I need to remove myself from the situation. I need... You know, I already got everything that I need. I'm going to start a new life. And things become chaotic as a result of that decision. But that decision is has made you feel like a child again, right? You're, you're starting um, this whole new life. It's almost like you feel like you, you know, go off to college for the first time or you, you get your, your, your uh, apartment for the first time, right? It's just so much excitement there. Um, and but also you're free of attachments too right you you're bringing nothing no baggage with you so however in the soul we have this eight of swords which is the self-imposed prison of the mind so a blockage from the past an emotional blockage is still keeping you uh in prison but you have the ability to to free yourself in the future we have reciprocation um, so either you're sharing your energy with somebody else, you're being open, you're freeing yourself from that cage, or you get the help that you need, right? Um, it's a f even exchange of energy between you and somebody else. It's also somebody wanting to share their life with you. So even though you might feel, um, imprisoned, uh, you feel that you need to move or need to leave a situation, um, that happens it either comes to you or you reach out your soul feels encaged okay so with the six of pentacles you know the law of giving and receiving you have to give in order to receive that's just the way it works all right so uh in the physical we have another chakra activation in the past the solar plexus strength courage willpower determination the sun is the most positive card it's a big yes so you overcame those challenges you again even though you felt exhausted and still in the chaos um you're happy physically in the physical sp space you are powerful like the sun confident and excited about a new beginning, 
It's every positive emotion you can imagine. And it's because you made a decision. It's because you found the strength to do something. Um, okay, so the future, we got the magician again. So like I mentioned over there, the magician is uh, the conscious, the self-conscious mind. It's attention, focus, focused on manifesting. Okay, so we have two ones here, which is an 11. Okay, so it's almost like the magician comes to you um, or from, you know, there's this major, major illumination that is taking place in the physical. Um, so much excitement about the future or, or about the now. Okay, yeah, you're, you're free and innocent like a child. There, there's this birth that's it's almost like you're moving through the birthing canal. Okay, so spiritually we have um, the Knight of Fire, the Knight of Pentacles, and the High Priest. So two knights. So in the past where there was major passion and a feeling of needing to move forward, and, um, not letting anything stop you, um, you know, feeling like... Where is it? Okay, yeah, the the night there. It's almost like you 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 shot out of the darkness riding this this fiery horse, right? Um, so you had a vision about the future, and you may have um, uh, started before you know the the gun went off, that kind of feeling. But then you kind of re reined yourself in with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you you slowed down, um, you would got control of yourself, of your thoughts, and now you're moving steadily forward. And in the future, we have this high priestess. Okay, so I'm feeling, you know, that there's this, you know, energy that's building up within you that wants you to, you know, burst forward, but you are under control. And you are moving into this beautiful high priestess, goddess, um, divine, um, spiritual energy. Now the third eye chakra on the masculine side could be the feminine because third eye chakra activated, right? We have that activation also with the feminine in the past coupled with the moon. Um, there, you know, and this is in the spiritual space. So spiritually, you're strong, you're making strides, you're making progress, you're almost at the finish line. Um, and it shows you being in this beautiful, peaceful uh, state going within like the um, hangman, absolutely letting go of control and just allowing things to come to you. Look at that, right? Because these two horses are moving towards her, right? So we almost have this blast um, of energy, decision being made. And then once you're out of the fire, it's like, whew, okay. And then it's a slow pace to the finish line, to this spiritual connection in the 5D as well as in the 3D. All we need is the King of Pentacles to show up on her side. That would have been cool. All right, so um, let me pull two cards uh, from the Romance Angels. So this will be the final message from the universe. Like I said, I will um, be going through the positions a little bit better and coupling that with the Osho Zen card. So I absolutely love Osho Zen um it always gives me great messages okay so one for the masculine and for the feminine okay so the masculine first ooh, engagement your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment yeah right we a lot of feeling of commitment, making that decision to make a commitment um, on the masculine side. 
a lot of passion there, sexuality, um, magnetism, and being guided by his intuition. Okay, so uh, engagement. E. There we go. Okay, so your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. Congratulations. This card signals pending nuptials, beginning with romantic engagement. If Even if you're not presently in a relationship, the romance angels can see one upon the horizon. This card comes to you as reassurance specifically so that you'll choose to release any worries about whether you'll get married, because you will. Deep romantic love in which you feel treasured is in the cards for you. The deeper meaning of this card relates to commitment. First, you must commit to taking care of yourself. You establish boundaries about what you will and won't accept, right? The Five of Swords, establishing boundaries. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, what you will and will not accept. Um, uh, and in other life areas such as career, home life, and so on. Next, you honor your self-commitment by taking decisive action and telling others how you truthfully feel about their behavior. Okay, so that's, you know, the um, awakening card. You're realizing things, and then you take action. Um, you speak up with the throat chakra, okay? Things have been um, really weighing you down um, emotionally, mentally, but spiritually and physically, there's this this drawing energy, this desire, this passion, All right? So, um, as you commit to yourself, the universe sends you additional experiences of love, loving commitment, including the promise of marriage. Yeah. Okay. So, um, there's a sense of wanting to get engaged or be married in the past, right? And so the universe is telling you to make that commitment. All right, so the feminine side, we got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, okay, so maybe that's why the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is in the soul space. It's because you feel like you've got no help, that you're locked into something financially. Um, but there's this desire to maybe break out and start something new with all the pages. Okay, so E, F. Oh, it's the next page. Okay. So money and love have historically been linked, and this card points to this correlation. The romance angels want to dis... dis sorry, disentangle you from financial or career pressures so that you may enjoy every aspect of your life, including romance. While work can be a source of heart-opening satisfaction, it must be balanced with other fa facets of love, such as playfulness and laughter. Okay, so the Three of Cups and the childlike innocence with all the pages. Um, you receive this card... Um, because you'd benefit from an infusion of such lightheartedness. Call upon the angels to alleviate or to elevate your mood, energy level, finances, careers, and anything else that brings you peace. Yeah. So the mid month um, energy is that you are shifting into a more playful, um, unattached, uh, carefree. Um, state okay and as a result um, this hardship is completed the storm is over so don't worry about money don't worry about what's to come uh, that just causes so much fear and anxiety and it gets you nowhere all right so put the past behind you stop worrying about other things and um, you know just be in the now and free yourself. All right, so um, I do hope this helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Cheers.